Most Mario Kart Wii players learn shortcuts in some sort of order, from either easiest to most difficult, practical to situational, or some combination of the two. At the top of this proverbial totem pole sits, in my opinion, the BC Wii Halfpipe, as it's one of the more challenging shortcuts to do quickly while being easy to play around, either by trapping the cut or just bumping them off. Not to mention, done incorrectly, it hardly saves any time at all. But the fans have spoken, and I need a bit of a refresher on the trick myself. So in today's video, we're covering how to do the BC Wii Halfpipe. First up, the method most of you Funky Flame mains will use. Go to the right fork next to the Bowser Fireball Machine thing, and look for these two dots on the halfpipe. You'll want to aim aligning these two dots to the top of your character's head. Actually, if you want to be specific, you'll want to aim slightly to the right of these two dots. Then crawl up to the boost panel, and once you're airborne, be sure to use the shroom before the apex of the flight, as due to the physics in MKWE, using the shroom too late doesn't really do anything. Also, be sure to hold back on your control stick the entire time once you go airborne. That way, you get an alignment that won't run you into the wall. Once you get comfortable with doing this, you could stop while stopping, and either slow down just a tad so you get the alignment, or if you're a fast learner and really get a feel for where to aim, start drifting into it no stop, which is the best but hardest way to do this method. If you need a visual marker for just drifting into it, I like to go wide on the carpet, aiming for the right side of this ribbon on the road, then start drifting once you hit this line and use the alignment knowledge that you learned earlier to clear the cut. Now, if you're just practicing the first part of clipping into the wall, you don't actually need shrooms. So even if you fall off, just SSMT and aim like so to go back to the shortcut instead of restarting. It'll save you a lot of time. Eventually, if you practice enough, you'll have some of your attempts actually make the shortcut shroomless. And yes, you can technically do this method without a shroom. However, the alignment is way too freakishly precise to be considered consistent. No, if you're wondering how some people manage to do this trick shroomless, we need to go look at the next method. As far as I'm aware, shroomless is only really consistent with the moth bike due to its smaller hitbox and light weight, giving it the ability to gain more air and get a cleaner alignment. First, the alignment for this method is actually different than the one we used for Funky Kong. Instead of aiming for the two dots, you'll be using these four dots as a sort of funnel to guide you through it with the final point of your aim a little to the right of this dot right here. Just like the no-stop method with Funky, you'll want to aim for the right side of this ribbon. However, you'll want to start fail drifting to the right a little earlier, then hop, if you have a bad alignment, then drift left off the boost panel. This hop is important as it's responsible for giving you enough speed and air for you to do it shroomless. Just be sure not to hop too late or you'll get no speed at all. Now, for troubleshooting, there are quite a few scenarios that could play out for this, but most of them either coincide with each other or directly affect one another. For instance, if you're flying out into the lava, that's normally due to you being either too far to the left or aiming too far to the left. Likewise, if you're hitting the wall or the half pipe, you're too far to the right or you're aiming too far to the right. There's a balance that gives you enough height and accuracy for these alignment-based shortcuts. The best way to find those out is by practice. I'd recommend spending at least a few days of on and off practice on your preferred method before expecting consistency. Now I just wanted to show you that you can do the BC We Half Pipe with the cart, but it isn't really as viable, as the larger hitbox gives even less room for error, not to mention if you want to do this you'll have to cancel the right drift with the left one just so you don't slam into the wall. For the most part it makes more sense for you carters to just block the cut, and you had a super mini turbo up the spiral, because even if you do make it, most of the time your alignment is so bad anyway, it hardly saves any time. And if you're wondering, to fix the alignment, why don't you just drift the same way your bike does? The answer to that is, I personally couldn't get enough air to make it across, even with the shroom. So if anyone has any footage of doing the BC We Half Pipe with the cart, that way you get a good alignment, please let me know. Because I scoured the internet, I couldn't find anything. Uh, Toki, you wanna help out? That'd be great. Now before we end, I want to stress that this is probably the most challenging while still being the least useful shortcut in the game. Due to how easy it is to trap or play around, and the harsh downsides if you fail the cut is extremely noticeable as BC Wii is one of the most brutal elimination courses in the game, right behind Warrior's Goldmine. What that means is low end rooms don't go for this cut because it's difficult, and high level players don't go for it either because most of the time it's blocked. Having said all that, Let's be honest, how many of you guys want to learn how to do left side? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, go to the left side of the split, 
then align with this line on the road and slightly to the right of these three dots. The inputs that you want to do is an SSMT, then once you release the SSMT, tap right slightly, then drift left and shroom off the boost panel, then shroom again in the air. What's different about the left side compared to the right side is instead of clipping through the wall right above the half pipes, you'll want to go slightly wider and clip behind the wall behind the Bowser statue, as the road is much further away. This shortcut method is about as hard and useless as they come, but if you manage to actually pull this off and save a ghost, it's a pretty good party trick. Hey, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. Don't forget to do the YouTube stuff. And if you want to see someone doing this trick in actual matches, why don't you drop by my stream over on Twitch. I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday morning, EST. So yeah, you definitely want to check that out. That's about it for me. Good luck, and happy racing. These birds will not shut up. <laughs>